the legal video deposition of Gwen Chamblin on May the 23rd. Do you swear or affirm the testimony about to give Miss Mary the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I did. To your knowledge, do any of the members of the Remnant Fellowship consider you to be a prophet? When Gwen first started, I truly believed she really wanted to help people. She was so charismatic. God revealed to me that the key to permanent weight control is a matter of the heart. God's taken 86 pounds off of me. I've lost 196 pounds. It was just a massive media hit. Thousands of churches all over the country would have the Way Down workshops. From that point on, she began realizing it needs to be a new church. It is extremely unusual to have a religious group led by a woman. There are men who are elders of the entire church. But the truth of the matter is, I don't believe that Gwen is accountable to anybody. That's the reason I call her Gwen Almighty. She's going to decide whether you make it to heaven or not. How members of Remnant behave is a bit like Handmaid's Tale and Stepford Wives. They want you to be clones of them. It's all about appearances. The cross, the Bible, that's all sideshow. It's about money, prestige, power. That's her holy trinity. She's just playing God. It's wrecking families. It's wrecking kids. That church didn't lead me in the dang right direction. That church was leading me to go hang myself in my own closet. You talk to your kids about drugs and alcohol, but you never think to coach your kids on a cult. Remnant Fellowship is now part of a murder investigation. The child's death put the focus on how the Remnant Fellowship taught its members to discipline their children. There's no telling what actually did go down, but I firmly believe that they did whatever Gwen told them to do. Got a child that's going from bizarre down to in control. So I'll praise God. To me, the devil is a myth. But I've met Gwen Shamlin, and she's real.